How's it going, everyone? Hey, it's Wednesday, and you are here at CCM Live. So excited to have you today. My name is Marcus. I am your humble host, and uh, and welcome. If you guys are here for the first time, welcome. This is where we talk about Christian music with the artists who make it happen, and we talk with you. This is going to be super important that you uh, that you comment. I'm watching your comments. Look, look, uh, Lorenzo here says. Hi guys, wait, no, it's not showing? All right, well, I'm watching your comments. <laughs> so if you guys, uh, you type them in, we've got an incredible show lined up today. We've got some great people. And uh, I've been looking forward to this one ever since like it was even a possibility. I'm like, yes, let's make this happen. Hey, uh, so post your questions, post your comments, hit that share button. And uh, you know, when you hit share, you can actually go scroll down and find people you know, like individual people. So if you know Uncle Bobby really wants to be here, go go select Uncle Bobby, invite him here. Hey, uh, I don't wanna waste any time just talking because uh, we have not just one guest, not two, we have three guests, you guys. And uh, and they're doing something pretty incredible. There, it's There's going to be this concert in about a week in California and it's gonna be called Reunite CCM. And it's, I just, I wish I could go because it's going to be amazing. So three of the artists that are going to be there, you know them. We've got, first, wait, I have to do this like one at a time. We've got Nikki Leonti. Yeah, hello. hello. And we've got Rachel Lampa and she made it. And I'm so happy her technology worked. Yay. <laughs> Am I here? You did it. You did, you're here. Great job. You did it. <laughs> and last but not least, the one and only Crystal Lewis. Whoa, we're like Yay. the Brady Bunch, it looks like right now. Hi. This is amazing. Hi. This is <laughs> this is so great. Lots of people are already so excited uh, to see Yay. you guys. Of course, you guys have met uh, so much to so many people over the years and the music that you have made and now there is this concert But before we get to that this might this this will be interesting. I've never tried this with multiple people um, We ask we we have uh, the people on this show uh, Tell us a little bit more about them by picking a random object around them that tells us a little bit more about you So what is what is around you that can teach us more about you? I have a, I have a soaking. We'll, wet we'll start with Rachel. I have a soaking wet paper towel a that filled my, my snacks and drinks that I was gonna have for this. So, <laughs> do you do you normally like to have like snacks and drinks when you do interviews, I just little, ready? I get I get a little stressed if I don't have like snack like snacks like within reach. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is awesome. What do you got, Nikki? Um, this is the closest thing to me is self-help for your nerves. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like you all got like pre-therapy before this interview now. Like, <laughs> what were you told? I'm just kidding. Uh, and Crystal, what do you have around you? Are you in a hotel? Did I hear you're at a hotel no, or something? No, I'm at a friend's house. I just flew in. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, I just got off an airplane and I literally unpacked my makeup like so fast so I can like put something on my face real quick. So the, my makeup bag is right here, but the closest thing I have is deodorant. Uh, um, yes. And then my watch because it's old and I've had it for a hundred years. And these are like staples <laughs> that I, I need regularly. So. I love yes, that is awesome. <laughs> Uh, I love that. And thank you for your transparency, all three of you. I really appreciate that. Uh, Keegan here says, the towel represents us when Rachel slays us. So there you go. Oh. Oh. That's the towel. Like, we're all crying. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Keegan. Um, so you guys are doing, like I mentioned, this concert, this Reunite CCM. It is a pretty unique show. Like, we're starting to see for the first time this nostalgia factor coming into Christian music. Uh, what what brought you guys together? What how did what is the what's the genesis of this whole thing? That's Nikki. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I was talking to Crystal about wanting to do something like this over a year ago. Yeah, I'm like what do you think about this? And. Uh, you know, life just happened and we kind of moved on from the idea. But recently our friend Jonathan Kulin 
uh, texted me and was like, hey, I was talking to Rachel and this just sounds like something. I'm like, I was just talking to Crystal not long ago. And then within, I think, six hours, I had the yeah. venue booked. Yeah. It was yeah. a done thing. And they were all down and I'm really excited. Yes. I love that. Uh, this Adrian here says, I got my tickets, lots of smiling faces, man. Yeah, lots of wish I could go. That's great. Um, so, it's in a about a week from now. What what does a night like that look like? Like, what are you are you guys like? Just are you pulling your favorites? Are you pulling deep into the catalog, Crystal? What where do you even start? <laughs> well, yeah, there's a, kind of a lot to pull from, um, as far as I'm concerned. Being the being the matriarch of the group, meaning the oldest, <laughs> um, I we're we're each kind of doing a little bit of. Um, you know, that we're playing to that nostalgia for sure and doing some of the favorites that are everybody's favorites and that everyone will be familiar with. But then we're each also taking advantage of like, hey, by the way, we've all continued to like write new things and sing new things and make new things and we're not done telling our story. So yeah. um, that's the, the, the hope. And that's I think that's kind of what has bound us together, at least for sure, Nikki and I, because we live near each other and we've had... Um, these interesting similar life experiences where we were like known for this one thing, but then we kind of kept going in a little bit uh, different shade of limelight. Um, and so, um, yeah, yeah, we're just, it's going to be a little bit of everything. Everyone will be very happy. <laughs> I, I, I like what you said there about different shade of limelight, because that's, that's sort of true of all of you is that you, you know, you were in the, in the machine you know, the just go, 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 the, the whole album touring, that whole machine. And, and since then, you guys have really done things differently. And so I would love to just hear from the three of you just what, what that has looked like over the past few years. You haven't stopped doing music at all. You know, people are like, oh, have you stopped? No, none of you guys have stopped. Um, and so, yeah, uh, by the way, a lot of people are asking, is, where is Stacey or Rico tonight? We can only get three people in here, guys. <laughs> I know. It's it's weird because it, our faces would be squished. At, they probably wish, actually, that she was here and I would just, like, be, be writing in the comments. <laughs> I should have thought of that. I could have just interviewed you guys via text. It would have been amazing. Yeah. But She's anyway, so she will be there as well. Or on an airplane at the time. She's either she's either in transit, sitting in a in the sky, or <laughs> sitting in the sky. Yeah. See, so she might not have even be able, been able to. Make it, so there you go. So, so Nikki, obviously, a lot of people uh, saw you on America's Got Talent with your amazing daughter and husband with the Edgar trio. Yeah. Uh, what's what's been what has been going on with you guys? Is it is what's what's the status with Edgar? What uh, what has music looked like for you since up. the the crazy we days? Life together. <laughs> What? Wait, what? The band broke up, but we all still live together. <laughs> oh, that's good. It wasn't. It wasn't a. It wasn't a bad thing. <laughs> well, you know, we are all doing different things that keep us busy, and getting together and rehearsing a, a three-part harmony is not at the top of the list right now. Even though we love it and enjoy it, um, yeah, we're all actively. I do film and TV writing and. Um, random stuff. So my husband works for film and television and he writes music. So we we're pretty busy doing like behind the scenes stuff, which honestly I enjoy more than being out. So. All right. Well, I mean, you, you sort of like teased all of us with, with what that sounded like. That was, that was a pretty incredible, pretty incredible uh, time on America's Got Talent there. And it's good. Are you still singing though? I know you're writing, and, and doing stuff with film and television, but are you still are you still actively performing? I, I live in LA, so every day is different. Like last week, I was doing background vocals for Katy Perry at the Hollywood Bowl. Random <laughs> situation. Um, I think uh, a couple months ago, Crystal and I got to sing on a Tori Kelly's project, um, add vocals to her gospel record. Um, you know, I, I'm always singing somehow. It's I have a show yeah. in LA called Jazz Night every Sunday. That brings in a lot of great artists. And I think my biggest passion, big. thanks. <laughs> my biggest passion <laughs> is um, 
it's showing off my friends really the connecting people awesome. and singers and stuff like that's what i love the most so okay that's can great. i just i need to say that is so true i want to just like make sure that everyone knows that she is not blowing smoke when she says that because that's kind of how we reconnected and um it's obviously how this is happening and uh, there is something to be said about um this sisterhood in particular is really important for yeah. us, for our spirits, for our like lives. And Nikki and I have connected um, over the last, what, three years, four years, maybe, um, in ways that we never did before. And yeah. that is something that has um, really, um, I don't want to even use this word, you guys, forgive me in advance, but it's really blessed me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it has because um, there are not a lot of women friendships that exist like this, where you truly are um, wanting so much to elevate the people around you and yeah. Yeah. with the knowledge and understanding that it doesn't affect you in some kind of a weird negative way. And that's just been yeah. one of the most beautiful things for me as someone that's older than everyone else. But I feel like I'm late to that party in some ways because it wasn't taught to me and now it's being taught mm. to me by my younger sisters and i think that's amazing oh that's so awesome well and it's I like christian music is new right because i mean in a sense of like the grand history of things so now you've got you've got multiple generations that can that can learn yeah. from each other and have that community what were you saying rachel sorry oh that's okay no i i'm bringing it back to nikki again <laughs> 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 he really was he really was one of the only people that did reach down and like say like well I mean actually I think my mom forced it on you actually I think that was the first time I ever met you <laughs> my mom literally did the thing where she said you're gonna hear my girl on the radio someday yes <laughs> and I remember it in Colorado oh, I was yes. forced went and cried um but um but I ended up connecting with Nikki pretty pretty quickly through the whole system, and um, and of all the the girls that I was constantly around, um, Nikki and Stacy really became my my two, you know, and um, and I was just like, and and it totally continued. Like I mean, that was 15, 16, 17 years ago, like longer yeah. than that. It was. I remember you invited me. You and Stacy invited me to a cookout with the young girls and I had like a one year old. And I remember how sweet it was because I was feeling so out of touch and like young teen mom, like no friends who get me. And they were like, come hang out. They let me bring my baby. <laughs> yes. yes, I That's know, awesome. I know. And, but like, but even now, like Nikki, I crash on Nikki's couch when um, when I need to, and she's she's taken me in numerous times when I'm in LA, and I'm like, I don't know where to go, and she's always, <laughs> she's always got that. That's that's awesome. I love that, and uh, it's I know there's so much love. It's it's cool that I mean it, it was obvious even before talking to any of you that there is something bigger than just doing a show. Like that there's there's so much shared between you. What are um and and I definitely want to catch up with the two of you as well, but I, I want to know like. What are some of the shared like experiences that you guys, I mean, you guys obviously are in part of a very, very small club of powerhouse female vocalists in the Christian industry that have seen the good, bad, and ugly. What is, what is that meant? Like sharing stories, you know, just good, all, all the ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, yes. I, I don't know. I, I think I think the thing that we're all seeing now is just that that we do we do really need each other. We do need to to um, to support each other to get, connect each other because um, I think a lot of the times that I um, that I really needed when I was younger when I was touring a lot were that were just being able to make music for fun and without like the pressure of like a deadline or somebody needing to love it or see a future for it. But rather than rather just like get together with your friends and like sing songs that are fun, love yeah. that you enjoy, like enjoy using it <laughs> with just yeah the heaviness of pressure. And I think, um, and I think that that's only been really recent for me. It's always been work for me. Um, yeah. But recently, like, honestly, 
back to Nikki again she, with her jazz night. She invited me <laughs> and that was like some of the most fun I've ever had in my life, just singing old school Mariah and stuff like that. Yes. And then Stacy has come up to Nashville recently and we just like played, a, played songs like, like little kids do, you know, like we just, we just decided to have some fun with it. And then I met Crystal a few, what was it? Months ago? At a wedding. <laughs> yes. Well, we, I mean, we met, we met. ages ago, but yes. we didn't, we weren't like adult friends yes. yet. Yes. yes. This, this yeah. really sealed it. Yes, exactly. And, you know, we just had fun. Like, mm. yeah, we just, I think there was a lack of that. So, um, yeah, know, I don't know if really answered your question, but I took it. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I just mean like, um, what does it mean to have other people around you that have gone through the same kinds of things, you know, and yeah. and and have dealt with uh, the highs, the lows, the criticism, the praise, you know, all the above. Like that's very unique to what the four of you in particular um, have experienced. Yeah. Jonathan too. He's he's in there too. <laughs> he's he's here yeah. by the way somewhere. Hi, Jonathan. I know. I saw him <laughs> chatting. What's up, JT? <laughs> I just want to totally echo what Rachel said. That's all very new for me too. learning how to create for the sake of creating rather than living underneath the weight of people's expectations and um, all everything that comes with that. And yeah. um, it, I think the, the beautiful plus of sh shared experience is that there's no, there's not a lot of, um, explanation necessary like we can kind yeah, of finish totally. each, other, each other's sentences where this stuff is concerned and know that maybe circumstances might have been different but generally speaking girl i get what you're saying like say no more i and yeah. and that's super rare and um that's, nice. that's a gift for sure that's yeah nice. no. totally. way to go nikki thank you for plugging in we, everyone <laughs> appreciates it so that's good <laughs> My husband, like, please give me the charger ASAP. Nice, nice <laughs> work. That, that was great. Well, Rachel, so you were uh, you were on the Sing Off, which hey, we look. I am an alum of a, a group at the University of Oregon called On the Rocks. Dude, I was in that group. No way. With Peter Hollins, actually, we were in that group together in college. Hi. And so that's why I love that show. I mean, I loved it before, but then when I heard my boys were on there, it was just awesome. So you were there, you've been doing, uh, you, you were with Hozier touring around. What else, what else have you been up to? Well, I, yeah, I, um, I, a lot. I mean, just that, like, it's sort of like Nikki was saying, it's just like different all the time. I just kind of got into a season where I was like trying to find the things that I enjoy and trying to find, um, uh, ways to express myself and my my heart and my faith and everything involved and um, so I yeah. just started kind of leaning into the things that felt like that was giving to that part of my life and um, so I did uh, yeah like you said like sing off um, the hosier tour um, did some of my own uh, little projects here and there and there wrote a lot but then um, <clears throat> uh, two years ago um, had a baby so. <laughs> so I've been momming a lot um been momming it's awesome yeah. are, are, do you live, do you live in Nashville where do you live now yes I'm in Nashville right now yeah. nice yeah. so it's been since 2011 since we've had like a CCM album from Rachel Lampa uh is that something you think we will ever see again you'll see an album <laughs> Close. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So I am working on music. Um, Jonathan actually has been helping me out a lot with that. Um, and uh, we'll at least have a song uh, either. Oh gosh. It, it'll be either early next year or the end of this year. Awesome. So, so yeah, we'll at least have a song to put out, but yeah, there's a project in the works. And so what did all of that, uh, these other experiences really show you about, about yourself and about your music when, you know, kind of like Crystal said, you weren't in the limelight so much as, as doing things a different way? Yeah. I think I was just sitting back and being inspired by people. And like, I mean, yeah, any, like the artists I was with, the singers, the caliber of pe of singers and just, um, yeah, just seeing people like so strongly and boldly um, sing, a, you know, about what they believe in, write about what they um, are passionate about, 
um, but yeah. also enjoy it. You know, it's just all these pieces that that I've been trying to put in put together. Um, I'm seeing and being inspired by um, from the outside. So that's really that's really the biggest uh, takeaway from all those crazy experiences. Lots of comments here saying, take my money now for the new Rachel Mamba <laughs> album. So <laughs> lots of people still very, uh, very interested in, in what you have to say. And, and yeah. I remember first time I heard uh, it was my uh, my best friend's girlfriend. It's now his wife at the time who said, you have to listen to this. And it was I Live For You. And oh. we we're, were just like, whoa, like this, it was like the greatest thing in pop music I had heard in Christian music like <laughs> ever. And it was oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So Long much. time ago. It's, it, it, like, and yet you're still, it's, it's awesome to see that you're, that you're not done. Good. And Crystal Lewis has never stopped. Oh my so gosh. Yes. Crystal, oh, Crystal, me. we, you're doing like Spanish language albums. You, you, I think the last thing we heard from you was 2015. Oh, shame on you, Marcus. Oh, <laughs> wait, I wrote it down. <laughs> yes. Okay. I thought so it was like, 2015. Yeah. Like as far as an album from you. Okay. Yes. Clarify. The yes, the last album. <laughs> you're right. Totally right. 2015 for sure. And then the Spanish version came out a year later. I want to say. Yes. But then. No, it was 2017. Out. Oh gosh, was it really? Oh, you're right. Yeah. It was a year ago. <laughs> I don't know. Redeemed myself. Redeemed I myself. Know. But then a sprinkling of singles in in there as well. So, <laughs> so my first question for you is, what is Izzy Ray doing? Um. Oh, she has a show tonight. Otherwise, she would be watching and commenting uh. the most hilarious things. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, she's working on new okay, stuff too. Good. Yeah, I, I love her stuff. It's awesome. Thank you. I so, do. You, I mean, you obviously have have stayed. You said you know the same thing. Changed the way the you know the limelight and all that, um, mm -hmm. but. I would say one of your biggest songs ever just uh, has been honored like crazy. I was just at the Devil, Devil Awards last oh. week and uh, it was a big night for a song of yours. Like yeah. you're still very, very much involved in songwriting, even if of course being that song that Mercy Me uh, has made popular. Yeah. What uh, does most of what you do now involve just, you know, helping other artists songwriting? What, what does it look like for you now? Um, I definitely do a bit of that. I've been doing like one-on-one -on -one vocal coaching and mentorship sessions. Um, I've done a few like intimate, small vocal coaching workshops. Um, so I do do some of that, but I'm also constantly yeah. working on, um, I don't, I don't really consider, um, my songwriting something that I've done. Nikki and I have talked about this a bunch. Like we need to get together and write because, I don't do that for other people much. I specifically have just pretty much done it for myself, even if it was a weird one-off that was okay. not really initially meant for anyone else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, wow. Uh, but that's where it wound up. So, um, so yeah, trying. It's I'm. we are exactly the same, the three of us. I assume the four of us with Stacey, too. Every day is different, and we're – we're constantly throwing things at the wall to see what sticks and the things you think might stick often don't. And the things you think won't stick do. And so it's, it's just a life of experimentation and um, being creative. It's not the easiest road in the world be living, trying to yeah. make a living making music or being creative. It's, it's, it's kind of frustrating a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, but it's also really beautiful sure. and rewarding. So, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, lots of comments here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. My, Michael wants you to, uh, Rachel, to sing a snippet, even if it's the, a grocery list. Uh, oh. Sorry. It's not, in, it wasn't in her writer for this. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> and Keegan says, Rachel looking like a legit effortless queen, TBH. So, <laughs> <laughs> you see, your, fans are, your fans are in full force today, Rachel. It's like <laughs> Thanks for bringing it Rachel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, the, the two other people that are part of this, uh, Stacey Rico and, and Jonathan Tulane, um, are you guys all get to, to do this together with really with the exception of Crystal, in a sense. This is sort of this is sort of a uh, 
a new thing for you guys to sort of step back into that that CCM label. Is that weird? Is it is it exciting? Is it nostalgic? Is it like scary? Is it all the above? Because you know it doesn't come without like without some baggage and without you know like you're you're doing a new thing too. You know. Yeah. Oh, Nikki. it's here. What? <laughs> Uh, that that was weird, but I just how it just came out. But no, yeah, it's definitely weird. <laughs> yeah, it's scary for me. It's scary. See, the the CCM is scary in ways. It can't, yeah. We've yeah. all we've all evolved so much as women and as as Christians, as believers, as whatever. I think um, you know, fifteen years ago, if we were in this chat room right now. And we said, you know, Nikki, you know, I was like, I sang backgrounds for Katy Perry and, and Rachel did Hosier and, and Crystal's with Tori are doing different things. We, you might have stopped the, uh, the broadcast. I mean, so much. Has, <laughs> and that's how strict and crazy things were when I was in the industry. You know, you were afraid yeah. to enjoy other types of music and afraid to um, open you know, your, your view of life and of different things. And I think I relate some of that like legalism and some of that fear and the, the, the walls around what CCM kind of used to represent to me and how, you know, I was affected or treated in my situation. Um, yeah. But now I think it's a beautiful thing because we are all, you know, women who have faith in, um, you know, live our lives that way, but we are women who are involved in so many different parts of life and entertainment and um, music and artistry that it doesn't have any more walls for us, which is great. Yes. Yeah. You get to approach it much more free. Yes. Yes. Well said. Really well said. <laughs> Look, you said it for them all. So there you go. Yeah. Well, and yeah. Some good comments here. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Glad you're so clear and open, Nikki. Some people are still big headed girl. Well, that's, I mean, it's true. <laughs> they are out there. And, with and, and, and you get to just love them with your voice. Uh, and and that's it's, weird and just, it's strong out there still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, are you um, are you guys talking? I mean, the, the most obvious question here is uh, supergroup. When is this? When is this happening? When is the supergroup happening? Next Friday night. Yay! Are you all going to sing together at some point? Yeah. yeah. You going to do like little Michael W. Smith friends action? Is that what's going on? That's a great. <laughs> we might. We might do it. Yes, awesome. Um, so, what what is what is next as far as um, you know? As far as just what what uh, what you're dreaming about, what you're what you're pushing towards, um, the way that you're that you're hoping, uh, you know, what what is still left to accomplish, like for, for you guys. I mean, obviously, you are all very young, but uh, what do you what do you still dream about? What do you what's on the on the list on your heart? Hmm. Well, I just became a grandmother. That was a big Yay! I Youngest, yeah, crossed Youngest. that right off. Youngest looking <laughs> grandma ever. <laughs> Thanks. True story. Uh, um, I I would love to do to go back to um. I guess this is not exactly answering your question because I did kind of already do this, but um, I would love to go back to theater or TV or something like that, like what I did on Roundhouse all those years ago. Um, I want to live overseas. Yeah. I really yeah. do. So awesome. there. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Love it. What about you, Rachel? Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm just redefining life right now. I think just with, with a little baby boy and, um, and just a new, um, a new perspective towards, what I do versus who I am <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah just kind of melting it all together um has been fun um I I want to keep making music you know um in in whatever capacity I'm just um yeah uh I don't know gosh what am I I'm just dreaming like a day at a time I guess yeah, so yeah. I mean when you've got a little baby that's that's pretty it's much the scope 
yeah. at that point. If you're sleeping, uh, that's yeah. check the box. Like, yeah. well it's a dream at night then. Yes. <laughs> what about you, Nikki? Oh, goodness. Um, family is number one for me. My kids, um, helping them see their dreams realized now is a huge thing yeah. for me. And uh, my daughter's getting into music. And so I've kind of been helping manage her and getting her into the session world. And it's just, that's even more gratifying than anything I could do on my own is when Mom. they win. Um, Momager. Momager. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> For me personally, I think I'm a I'm more of a business mind than a, a creative at times. I think that goes over um, the creative line for me. So I think it, it'll just be creating other business opportunities for myself, for others. Um, you know, starting businesses and just different yeah. things. That's what I will continue to do. Girl, how awesome. are you? I know. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Keegan says I have questions for Rachel. Hey, if you have questions, like I said at the beginning, now is the time because I'm gonna go through the comments. And if you don't have anything that that blows me away, then I'm just gonna you know have to have to let them uh, tend to you know other things. So. Yeah. Let's see, I've got a whole bunch of comments here. A lot of people going, uh, like they're crying from like hearing the, the sisterhood here. That's awesome. Yeah. A lot of people touched by that. Uh, I like what Keegan says here. He says, I am shook. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Keegan, oh my God. Yes, that's so great. And uh, and lots of people talking about, they, they want new music from all of you. And oh look, he, he's, he is blowing up your, your chat here because he's like, Live For You Remix slays my soul. That's what I want to see is some, some, some new Rachel Lampo remixes too. Um, and lots of people saying, come to our city. I mean, is there any, is this like an experiment or is this like one time and it was fun and we're just gonna, you know, Move on. Well, it all depends. Literally, we have no idea. <laughs> I mean, awesome. We're doing this because we love each other, and we really probably at this point wouldn't do something like this with anyone else but each other. Yeah. yeah. So yep. that was, that was that. our expectations are to enjoy each other's company and to have a great night. And I think everything else is, we'll see as we go. Yeah, that's great. I hope you saw that crystal that I right did. here. Lorenzo says you should be in Hello Dolly as Dolly. And I love it. Being agrees. <laughs> crystal on Broadway, yes. <laughs> and Steve said, Nikki, I remember your song, Love One Another, that's so needed in the world and even in the church today. Are you guys finding that songs from from the the, the fast-paced CCM days are, are coming back in a new way to you, like as you're even prepping for this concert? Yeah. Actually, yeah. I was surprised by that. I was like, oh, I like this song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like an old friend. You know, there's a few, yeah, it's like an old friend. Yeah. <laughs> it is like kind of has new life for me a little bit. It's been cool. It's been fun. Yeah. I agree. What about you, Nikki? Are you doing Love One Another? I think I'm going to do a like snippet of it, a little medley with Jonathan. <gasps> yes. Awesome. Awesome. A time. That, that'll be great. It. A tiny little taste. Uh, Pedro wants to know, will that night be recorded or put on live stream in any way? Yes, we're working on that. We're going to be posting it up on our pages uh, closer to the night of the event. All right. That is a week from tomorrow. So. Oh. No, it's yeah. not. Uh, it really? Oh, no, it's Saturday. A week from Saturday, right? No, oh, it's a week oh, from Friday. Friday. No, Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Yeah, a week from tomorrow. Friday. Oh wait, it's Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. I'm I'm a dad of three, so that's why. It's okay. I don't know what day it is. But that's either way, um, it's so close. It's like practically tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna be all together very soon. That's awesome. Um, finally, let's see what else here. Oh yes, your your publicist says do not miss miss the show. Tickets on sale now. Where can people find tickets to this? Eventsbrite.com. And look up uh, Reunite CCM, and you can get um, the tickets. And we're going to do a special discount code for our CCM magazine listeners. So just put five oh. off, five off, and you guys can get five dollars off all your tickets today. Five off! Look, look! I think I did it. 
Yay! Oh, okay. Very good. That's really fast. All right, there you go. Eventbrite. That's that's like a site where you buy tickets for things. If you didn't know what that is, <laughs> that's Eventbrite. Awesome. Well, uh, I I always want to uh, you know end this with with prayer. And how can I? How can all of us watching be praying for you guys? Um, it, besides just this show, but just individually. Who the <laughs> Crystal, you go first. You always, you always defer. I do. It's so true. Pray for her. <laughs> what did you say? I'm praying for you through my screen. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I guess I think this probably applies to all of us, but um, because we're all in uh, these interesting seasons of transition and um, continuing to like evolve and find our way and we are not exempt from the feeling of um from feeling lost at times and wondering yeah. what on earth we're supposed to do now you know um so i think yeah. if people felt so led to um want to pray for clarity for uh us i think we would all um embrace that with I open like arms that. i like that clarity all yes. right i like it yeah Rachel. Um, I think just for uh, just pertaining to the show and to, to the artists and to the crowd, just that there'll be like a feeling of, uh, of belonging and freedom at the show. Um, because yeah. I think that we're all coming from new places. You know, I think maybe that used to be a group of people, you know, 10, 15 years ago that maybe thought the same way, but it might not be that way in, you know, now, nowadays. And so that right. it'll just be a place of belonging and love and, um, and just a good, joyful time. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Both of uh, everything they said times two for me. Um, I think that clarity in this season of life is a huge thing, um, especially when, like for me, just running all around doing so many different things. I just clarity and direction and where I'm going is always needed. And then, yeah, like Rachel said, for the night, I feel like. Um, People are in different places and, you know, the church has a, you know, people have been through stuff with the church or with whatever. So we just, like she said, hope that people come, they feel love, they feel acceptance. And this is just a night to kind of just join together. We're all on the same page. We're all on the same journey, you know, and let's just um, love and be supportive. Yeah. That well, if you guys are watching now or later, it's all going to work the same. We're going to pray through the screen, just like Nikki said, gonna, just like that. No, uh, let's let's pray real quick for them. God, thank you so much for uh, community. Thank you for people um, who can come alongside us, who you place around us to know um, to know us and to to help us and and to heal us. And I thank you for that community. Uh, with these three and with everybody involved in the Reunite CCM show. I pray that that freedom and that joy and that community and excitement would explode onto that stage and it would be an unforgettable evening. It would be healing in so many ways, Lord. And we just pray that um, that there would be uh, incredible clarity. Uh, maybe that even comes out of, of this, uh, this moment together, Lord. But um, regardless, we just trust you for for your leading and we thank you that you're a god that, that enjoys doing that that enjoys seeing uh seeing us find the the gifts you have for us so lord just pray for each one of these people and their families and uh, everyone else that um whose lives they touch we thank you for the way they've touched ours in jesus name amen amen thanks guys that this was awesome, and it, and I needed at least three hours to interview each of you for an hour because this was so great. Give uh, give my best to, to my good friend Jonathan and to Stacy as well, and have an incredible show. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna be be a great night. So you guys are seeing that scroller down there. If you want to go, if you if you can get yourself to California to Covina, California. Well, there you, is that say it? Is that everywhere? <laughs> Did I say it the right way? Covina, yes. The Humanate okay, Church sweet. in Covina. Good. Yes. I didn't say Hosier the right way, but I did. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, you can have All right. Uh, okay. So listen, 
Keegan is going to be really sad if I don't throw this at you right before we go. Okay, Rachel? Uh, he wanted to know if you recorded a version of Dive In. <laughs> wow. No, I have not. I have not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. And did you record a song that Brittany Hargis recorded? Maybe. On the All We Need album. It was called Miracle. He, that guy knows his homework. He did his homework. <laughs> No. She doesn't know. You see, songwriters write so many songs that once they're done, they're like flushed. You know, it's you know? like it's gone, yeah. it's out there. Next yeah. thing. Sorry. Yeah. All right, but thanks for the questions, Keegan. Thank you, and thank Bye. all of you guys. Thank you, Crystal and Nikki and Rachel, so much. Uh, have an awesome show, and uh, I want to do this again because this was so fun. So yeah. thanks so much, you guys. We can yeah. do a recap. All right. Yes, a, a recap. Awesome. Thanks. Well, thank you and God bless. And, uh, and yeah, we will, I can't wait to see what happens. Bye you guys. Bye. All right. So that's what we have today. And that was probably my favorite episode ever because it was so much energy and love and people I admire. So thanks for being here. We will be back tomorrow. Same time. Uh, we will not have three people, but we will have people. And uh, hopefully you'll be there. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we do this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And uh, we love seeing what you have to say. And so if you enjoyed what we had to say today, uh, hit share. You can tag someone in the comments. Also, if you missed this or are tuning in a little bit late, you want to watch the whole thing, all of these episodes are archived uh, at ccmmagazine.com. All you got to do is uh, you've got to click the Live with Marcus tab and you can see all of those episodes. Or this is available as a podcast on iTunes. So search for CCM Magazine, you'll find Live with Marcus podcast on there. So thanks for being here. I'm super jazzed. I hope you guys have a great, uh, it is Wednesday, great Wednesday night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.